If you've ever tactical re-rolled a one into another one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, my name's Ryan. I'm back with Shane. Welcome back to Command Point. Some very exciting news broke today, Shane. New faction for Kill Team will be coming out, as is confirmed in the new uh, White Dwarf. The Sisters of Silence. Yeah. I mean, it's actual, real, tangible news. I don't even <laughs> know how to process that how long has it been like four months since the annual at this point yeah yeah literally since well, the annual um i mean i there was zotes i guess but that doesn't really that, no that doesn't count <laughs> that, that doesn't count <laughs> i mean this is pretty exciting though we obviously don't have any details or data sheets but new kill team faction I yeah mean, that's a big deal and um, we basically, we know what they do in big 40K, you know, they're, they're psychic blanks, so they're like immune to any sort of psychic abilities, at least as far as I know. They work with custodes a lot. They just had uh, that new book, Talons of the Emperor, come out not that long ago, where it's all about a custode and a, uh, and a sister of silence getting into uh, who knows what sorts of trouble. So I guess that can kind of segue into um just how we expect uh how the like what the sisters of silence are going to bring uh when they step into the kill zone so to speak so um there's a little bit of text if you look at the picture it says what about the magnifying glass yeah right seriously <laughs> um okay so it says, though rarely fielded in open battle alone, the Sisters of Silence often fight alongside other Imperial forces or engage in covert missions to hunt down witches and enemy psychers. So to me, that bit of text there, I think, is a, is a little bit of a teaser. I think that this faction, you're probably going to be able to, you're obviously going to be able to bring them as a standalone force. So having an entire kill team of Sisters of Silence. But that bit about them working with other Imperial forces, I'm fairly certain that you'll be able to bring these Sisters of Silence into other Imperial kill teams, such as Imperial Guard, um, Sisters of Battle, um, and Prop, being the obvious one. Being the obvious one, just because, you know, they've been working together all this time in the book and everything. Um, May probably not Space Marines, but like those three, um, those three Imperium factions, I think will be able to uh, take these Sisters of Silence as allies. Um, kind of how you can take Gottfried and Pius Vorn and all those other Imperium Blackstone Fortress models in your kill teams um, as like specialist uh, auxiliaries or whatever they're called. Yeah, the retainers. Yeah, specialist retainers. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that uh, it kind of seems like, I mean, with custode, custodies, we isn't it all but confirmed that for Big 40K, the Psychic Awakening for them is kind of going to be really joining together custodies and Sisters of Silence, like even more so. Um, I'm not that into Big 40K, but this is just kind of what I've heard. So, I mean, that would be keeping in line with those changes if... They were, uh, if you were rather able to bring them into a Adeptus Custodes kill team. And I think that would also solve a lot of the problems that we've seen with Custodes as a faction. And it would allow, you know, Games Workshop and the game developers to, you know, approach that kill team a little bit differently and how they want to, you know, adjust the points costs and so on. I mean, a lot of people have said that Custodes, like, a, like an actual custodian guard in kill team, that model is way cheaper than it really should be. Uh, they just make it that cheap so that they can fit it in the game. Um, you can't really have a kill team of uh, it, it, if those guys were actually what their points, you know, would indicate. Yeah, it'll it'll definitely bring a lot more flexibility to that faction. Um, I think what I'm most excited about is um, the potential for them to be taken alongside Imperial Guard. Just because then that faction gains a layer of psychic defense, nullifying uh, like uh, enemy psychers, so Grey Knights, Thousand Suns, um, 
like the one psyker from the servants of the abyss box but you rarely see that faction being run that um, psyker is hilarious by the way just a yeah. <laughs> little tangent that is one of the funniest models in guild team it's got four wounds and it perils anytime it rolls double of the same number on its cybolt attempt. Oh my um, god! So not just double ones or double sixes, like double twos, double threes, double fours, double fives. Any of those times, they peril. That's crazy. It's it's so funny. Um, anyway, continue. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to find some of their uh, eighth edition data sheets here just so we can kind of get a feel a feel for them yeah like what to expect i was yeah. looking a little bit earlier while you uh search up the actual numbers i know what we can generally expect is like a strength three toughness three profile um i think like a three up save their profile is kind of similar to like a battle sister sort of from what we saw um obviously they're going to be outfitted a little bit differently and um i mean who knows what you're going to be able to take with them presumably like you know they they'll probably be able to bring like a flamer or whatever that power sword that they get is um i mean it's definitely going to be interesting uh, especially in like a custodies team where you can i don't know i think you might see people maybe if this is a thing that they can do you would see maybe people dropping a custody and throwing in maybe a couple sisters of silence whatever the point cost might end up being um mm -hmm. And that way they have, you know, some bodies that can sit back on objectives while those two guards basically just move up and do their work. Mm -hmm. So it looks to me as though there's a few a few different types of uh, Sisters of Silence. There's the Prosecutors and the Vigilators. Um, they each both have a 7-inch movement, 3-up weapon skill and ballistic skill, 3-strength, Toughness three, one wound, um, two attacks for the base model, and then the sister superior gets three attacks. Leadership is eight and nine, so that's very good. With a three up save, also very good. Um, the executioner great blade, that's their sword. Uh, it's strength plus one, AP three, D three damage. That's nice. Yeah, yeah that's um, what I was. Th I couldn't remember the name of it. Yeah, they also get uh, psych out grenades. And which Armor. one is that? The psych out grenades? Those no, are the, the, yeah. Which which model has that? Oh, that's the Vigilator that has the okay. Executioner Great Blade. And then the Prosecutors, it looks to me that they have the same stats and everything. They just um, have just standard bolt guns. So 24-inch range, rapid fire, one strength, four, no AP, one damage. Um, and then, oh, the Prosecutors also have Prosecution Protocols. Models in this unit can target enemy characters that are psychers, even if they are not the closest enemy unit. So I don't know how that would translate over to Kill Team. Again, these data sheets that we're looking at are just from 8th edition, uh, big 40k. So, Also, I think there's one more um, outside of what you were just mentioning. I think they're yeah. called Witch Seekers. Yeah. Those are the Flamers, I believe. And they have basically the uh, yeah. same data sheet that you were just talking about, except they have their weapon is a flamer. Eight inch range, assault D6, strength four, no AP, one damage. And then uh, this this sheet that I've pulled up, it's in French, but I assume that text is um, this weapon automatically hits. Yeah, pr um, presumably. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, uh, definitely, like it's it's certainly interesting. I mean, at this point, if they if if Militarum can take them, then you can almost make like a full, you, you probably can make like a full Militarum list that doesn't even have any guardsmen in it. Yeah, right. Yeah, if these guys are, uh, if these ladies should be, uh, are able to be taken as allies, uh, I see it as a tremendous net gain for factions like Imperial Guard and um, uh, Sisters of Battle. Yeah, and I think it also helps out, you know, eases the pain of having to play against psychic factions for some of these um, groups because, I mean, like, Imperial Guard doesn't have a... Obviously, I mean, they're generally a type of faction that, that takes a lot of plasma, but, I mean, look at, um, like, Sisters of Battle. Their answers to psychic for a faction that's supposed to be kind of, like, anti-psyker aren't really that great. Um, like, they can deny 
psychic ability with like a a six up, basically assuming it's like you roll a five on the cybolt. I mean, having models like this, it, it definitely helps in those matchups a little. And I know a lot of people tend to get a bit frustrated playing against psychers, especially you know newer players. Yeah, um, they could be pretty vicious in kill team. Yeah, for sure. If I'm not mistaken, you just straight up can cannot uh, target them uh, as uh, when using Cybolt or any psychic ability in 40k. I could be mistaken. Yeah. For their special rules, there's Psychic Abomination. Uh, all psychers within 12 inches suffer minus three leadership. Can only harness charges on sixes. Not sure what that means exactly. And the unit cannot be targeted by any psychic powers, period. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, I mean, right now, it. Uh, I'm curious to see how they would work as their own faction. I mean, we're talking about them a lot in terms of like supplementary units to other factions. Right. I'd be curious to see like what kind of tactics and like what little flavor things they would get in Kill Team to uh, to kind of work as their own unique you know, uh, faction. So Yeah. I'm going to be honest, just looking at those two data sheets, it doesn't look like there's a lot of variety with them in terms of how you can equip them. So hopefully they make up for that sort of thing with um, the types of tactics they can take and maybe some of those big those big 8th edition 40k rules will be able to translate over to kill team in some capacity. But yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, it's basically all we know about the Sisters of Silence right now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our Discord server. Check out our Twitch. All that fun stuff. And uh, we'll keep you locked and loaded with more uh, Kill Team news.